Hello everyone, welcome to Northern Nugget Adventures. Today we'll be taking you to the Australian Museum. We just took the train from um, our house and off to St. James Station. So we're going to be taking you around the Australian Museum. We bought tickets to Brickman and going to be showing Noah a little bit about Duplo and Lego as the obsession that I have as is that. Hopefully we'll be showing you around and some things that you can do with your child. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dan. I'm a dad currently on parental leave, trying to shove as much adventures with my 12 month old toddler Noah. If you like and subscribe, it really helps. Um, helps me create the content for dads out there or even the mums. Just doing it on your own while the other half is hard at work. Before this whole trip begins, a few things have to fall in place before we actually go to see the exhibition. Noah's lunch was prepared, steamed, and I made a chicken sanger for the most optimal speedy lunch. Uh, for all of you that know me, I try and feed Noah in a consistent environment as much as possible. Menu today is a tomato basil and chickpea fasilli recipe by One Handed Cooks, diced avocado with hemp seed and sauteed mushroom and spinach. Uh, we're trying to encourage Noah to use the fork and finger food. Where is it? I believe Noah's trying to say how good the food is. Noah will have some independent eating time as I clean up and prepare a snack. Generally some fruit smoothie mixed with hydrolyzed formula for the road. It's a 20 minute train journey to St. James Station for us. Noah had a smoothie and was super fascinated about that shiny red button that you're not meant to push. It was a great sunny day and nice to actually come out in the city. I think it was the one of the first times heading out in town with Noah. Hey, just a little tip, if you're heading into the Australian Museum, there's no pram friendly entry if you go via Hyde Park, so plan your route. Take it from me, I carried the pram up and down the stairs. So welcome to Issa Nubla. that's what you're greeted by when you enter Brickman's exhibition. You have six key sections with different display of Legos. I like how it takes you through that journey, the island, the scientific breakthrough and its DNA. Most sections have this interactive component which you can get involved, um, building a strain of DNA if you wish. Followed by a baby dinosaur and Duplo display. I think Noah loved this one. It's got an interactive section at the back with Duplo. So if you've got an older toddler who's into building Lego, they would love this. Noah was just a little bit too unfamiliar with Duplo, I think. So he just threw it. We moved to the raptor room which was cool because it had blue and echo in it. If you're unfamiliar watch the Jurassic World, uh, the one with Chris Pratt in it. Seeing the raptors life size could you say it was nice. This room homaged the classical movies really well where you can pat the raptors. So um, get on to watching Jurassic Park. This room was the most popular. It was no surprise, a giant T-Rex looking like it's chasing the Jeep that you were driving. It's impressive. Lots of selfies and from lots of people. Thank you. So that's it. That's the Jurassic Exhibition. Just come check it out. There's more to the Australian Museum. My favourite was the Bayala Nura, display which celebrated Australia's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultures. Seeing the possum skin cloak, ancient weapons and the stories, I got goosebumps looking at the displays. I could say I felt connected to the land and really emotional. There's also a Wild Planet exhibition which had wild animal displays. It was actually cool for me too seeing the perspective of its life size. As I said before, there's lots to see here. Plan ahead wherever you go, support your local museum and connect with your little one. Showing you what we got up to the rest of the week, we are on the market for a travel stroller so we were testing some prams. We were looking for something compact with a handle and a footrest. We had a few options but ended up settling for the Easy Walker Miley. Uh, the fold was super compact, uh, you can see here Noah's just super comfortable. That's what we're looking for. This ain't a review but I think the Easy Walker Miley ticks the boxes. It's compact and comfortable for Noah, perfect for us when we travel. Wishing my nephew Roy a happy birthday. I visited the fam and actually celebrated my dad and Roy's birthday. So happy birthday to you guys. Besides that, Liz, Noah and I just chilled out. We had some ramen. It was nice eating out and not having to cook. 
managed to do some errands, closing off some loose ends and doing some grocery shopping. Noah was having fun at Kmart whilst for Liz and I we enjoyed not owning any of these toys. From seeing Brickman's exhibition this week I did manage to pick up some Lego architecture because I felt inspired. I wanted to treat myself so it was fitting because the next three weeks I'll be sharing with you our Singapore series, taking you with us and showing you what we got up to. Thanks for joining Noah the Nugget Adventures, see you next week in Singapore.